Hello my name is Mel, welcome to my world and for those of you that are new to my channel it's all about self-built camper vans and camper van related stuff so if that's something that interests you then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Now living full time in my van I've had to make a few sacrifices along the way. Um, I mean things like endless supply of water, a flushing toilet, a shower, I've none of those things. Um, I won't tell you I won't go into too much detail about my personal hygiene, I think I'll save that for another video. But the point I'm trying to make is, living full time in a van, it does require certain sacrifices. One of those sacrifices I was not going to make is my quality of coffee. I'm a bit of a coffee freak, I do like my fresh ground coffee in the morning. So that's one thing I was not prepared to give up, and that's what this video is about. It's all about making coffee in a camper van. Now this may sound like a pretty mundane subject, but believe me, I've been on quite a coffee making journey through my experience of living in a van. And I'll explain that a little later on, the challenge that are involved in making fresh ground coffee in a van. So first let's have a look at some of the options <laughs> I've had a few um, of my coffee making experiences. So um, we'll start at the beginning I think. So first off my first coffee, like, this, I'm talking about fresh ground coffee not instant coffee. I do like my fresh ground coffee in the morning instant coffee I will drink during the day but my first coffee fix has got to be fresh coffee right so um, I'll show you this first I brought this back from Cyprus with me and it's like a little filter as you can see, I'll hold this light up you can see it's actually got these tiny little perforations in it and it makes making fresh grain coffee really simple simply boil the water put my fresh grain coffee in here that goes in the cup hot water eventually it strains through a hey, presto, nice cup of fresh ground coffee. So this was the first thing that I used when I started living in my van full time. Uh, for one good reason, it takes up very little space. I mean, literally, put it in the cup, hang it up, doesn't take up any room. So that's a brilliant little gadget for making fresh ground coffee in the van. But I'll tell you why, what lets this down in a minute. We'll get to this point, the point I'm trying to make will become clear. Now the other option, of course, for fresh ground coffee is our coffee canter. And this one's plastic, but I use this on the go, like if I'm a bit late for work, um, I can make me fresh ground coffee, put it in there, the plunger goes in top, screws the lid down, plunges, I can put it on my dashboard, drink me coffee on the hop. Really good little thing, and uh, it's double insulated as well, so it keeps coffee warm. Again, fantastic, right? Now my friend Annalise, and I promised her that I would throw this away. Well, I have, I've thrown it away. This is a um, stainless steel version of the aluminium ones you get, and you put them, I put this on my wood burner. But like I say, my friend Annalise begged me to throw the aluminium, away, aluminium one away. So um, I haven't got that to show you, but I have got this stainless steel one. And again, quite simple. You put your fresh ground coffee in there, water in the bottom, that pops in top, water boils, it goes up the spout and your fresh ground coffee ends up in the little jug on top. Brilliant for the winter and I do use this quite a lot, I put it on my wood burner. It won't fit on this stove, it's far too small but I needed a small one because my wood burner is really small. So that's my other method of making coffee. <laughs> Told you this would go on didn't I? Now coffee machines, I did have a Tassimo coffee maker when I lived in a house but I gave it away, um, gave it to my very good friend Claire and her husband. So when I looked into getting a coffee machine I came across this Dometic one. And so I brought this Dometic coffee machine. Now the nice thing about this is it's 12 volt. Again fresh ground coffee, goes into the little filter so we've got our little filter, coffee goes in there, you plug it in, a hey presto, nice fresh coffee once again. Now here's the thing, right? Whilst all these methods, one, two, three, four different methods 
four different methods of making coffee are absolutely fantastic. They work well, the coffee tastes great. You can use fresh ground coffee with all these four methods. There's one fundamental flaw, and that is, what do you do with the coffee grinds once you've made your coffee? Because the coffee grinds, as you know, stick like proverbial inside and trying to get them out into the bin makes a mess. Hello, hang on, I've got a visitor. <laughs> Hello, come Hello. in. I'm just making a video about coffee. Oh, can I have one? Of course you can. Come in, sit oh, down, great. and uh, I'll carry on filming. It's oh, Rebecca, great. everyone. And what was it? Where was I? Oh yeah. One fundamental flaw about using these all these devices for making coffee is you've got to get rid of the coffee grinds. And if I try and put coffee grinds down my sink, it will block, won't it? Oh yeah, we'd hate that. It we, always happens. We had this problem with the sink blocking because I've got a very small waste pipe and not only that, my waste tank is emptied via a small electrical pump. So I've had problems with coffee grinds blocking me pipe work. So I came up, well actually Rebecca came up with a solution. Yeah. Well it's kind of a joint effort. It was effort. joint, yeah, it was joint. Because yeah. you were kind of saying what you wanted and I just went on and tried to do Here's a bit coffee. of research. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. good. This isn't instant coffee, this is actually gr ground coffee that I ground earlier. Um, <laughs> so the ideal solution for getting rid of coffee grinds is to use these paper filters. So Rebecca very kindly brought me these paper filters and hang on, let's get rid of some of this stuff because I'm going to drop everything. More surface space is needed. Yeah, we do need a bit more surface space. <laughs> need a bigger fan. Yeah, I know. We keep talking about it, don't we? Right, so this is perfect, right? Coffee filter bag and a little food funnel. And this is stainless steel, by the way in the cup, the coffee grinds go in there, I put my hot water in and when my coffee's done I simply take the paper cup out, throw all the coffee grinds in the bin. That won't go to waste, I will use that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put that there. So since using this, this has been absolutely perfect for me, I've had no problem, all the coffee grinds go in the bin, this stays pretty clean, I'll just simply rinse it out and put it back in the cupboard drawer. Really good, really simple, cheap solution. For and getting... cleaning easy as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Now, I did watch a video a while ago. Um, another YouTube channel did a review on a coffee machine. Like I said earlier, I used to have a coffee machine with the little coffee pods, but it was quite big and it was 240 volt. No good for using in advance, so I gave it away, like I say. Now they did a review on this little Nespresso machine that heated the water and pumped the coffee through as well. Um, quite a funny video. But the machine, the one downside of that machine was that it was really slow, it didn't really work that well. But I was quite impressed, so I did a little bit of searching and I found another one on Amazon. So I bought it. <laughs> and here it is. Because I do like the idea of those coffee pods. So uh, this uses, don't worry wrong. Oh, there we go. It uses these little Nespresso coffee pods. Well, these aren't actually, they're knockoffs. They're from uh, Aldi. Aldi, yeah. Aldi, yeah, they're knockoff ones from Aldi. Um, but we love Aldi. Yeah, we love Aldi and we can't afford the proper ones. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and I only bought these to try this machine out and I didn't want to go and spend a load of money on a big box of these if this didn't work. Yeah. Now this comes in with its own little glass. You see it's a bit wet because I've been using I've been using this for the last couple of days. I thought I'd try it out first. Actually I think Yeah, I've left one in there. <laughs> That's the one I used earlier. I'll throw that in the bin. Now this doesn't heat the water, it is purely just a pump and it is powered by USB. It's USB chargeable. It's got a battery in there, I think it's something like 800 something or other hours whatever it is simply pop your yeah, coffee you pod in there brews 20 cups yeah yeah i saw it somewhere yep. 20 cups now i'm only doing this review because i'm impressed i'm genuinely loving this thing all right it goes in there like that 
it goes in the cup. There you go, nice and neat. I feel like a shopping channel now. It's quite small space as well, though. Like well, in terms of the, the, the that's the thing. He's actually up. keeping it somewhere. Is is the downside? But um, we'll come to that in a minute because okay. I've got an idea. I've not shown you this yet. I'm excited to so see. So we need to boil the kettle. There's a little tip for you. When you're in a van, only boil what water you need. So I've already pre-measured one cup of water out and put it in the kettle. Therefore, um, you only boil what you need. There's no water waste and you use less gas as well. Yeah, I learned that too. So that's that. ready, right? Now that is ready to go. All that's I've got good. to do is put boiling water in there. Push the buttons and make it go, basically. So do you put the coffee in the top? No, the coffee's in the bottom. The pod's in oh, there. Oh, the pod's in there. Oh, yeah, the pod's okay. in the bottom. So what I'm going to do later on, I'll try and figure out the size of this, try and get a hole saw, right? Right. Oh, I see. What, are you going to sink it in? And then sink it. Well, maybe not sink it into this work. I don't want to make a hole in this worktop, but I want to make like a... A something, holder for it. A holder to hold it so that so it's permanent. can stay there permanently, yeah. I'm that impressed with it, I'm going to build it into my van. I'm surprised because you, you haven't told me about already. this yet. No, no, no. Sorry about that. <laughs> Keeping secrets Keeping from Keeping secrets, me. I know. That's where it all goes wrong, isn't it? So the boiling water goes in the top. you got a little lid. Press the oh. button. Three seconds. Hang on, let's hold this up to the camera so the folks yeah, only can see. Me. Oops, don't spill it now. Three seconds. One, two, three. Comes on. Press it again. It should start flashing, yep, and then it starts brewing. Now this is full of boiling water, remember, it doesn't heat. There you go, now it comes the coffee. <laughs> it's brilliant. Fresh coffee. So it is like a mini coffee maker then, isn't it? It is, like yeah, yeah it's basically an espresso maker, but there's no the heating thing. element. Yeah. You have to put hot water in it, but, but that's no big deal. And, um, because use the pods. All these other systems that I use, you have to boil the kettle anyway to make the yeah. coffee, all except... Let's put it on there, it's really loud. Yeah. It's just resonating. Yeah, all except this one, which is 12 volt. Um, and to be fair, this does take a while. And again, you end up with the coffee grinds. That you have to get, to get rid, rid of, of yeah. yeah. So I guess it depends on which way you want to get around. Coffee grinds or a pod. Well, this is the... the the, the debate. The holy grail of coffee is, is making fresh coffee and not having to deal with the coffee grinds, which is yeah. why I like the paper cup yeah. solution. Um, and environmentally, I'm still, that's I'm better. still a fan. I'm still a big. I've ripped that one now. I've made all of it. I am still a fan of those. Fan of, I, I'm not going to give those You're up. Fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is definitely, for me, because you can buy all different types of coffee, you can mix it and grind it, yeah. you know, because I do like to experiment. There you go. It's, it's the simplest solution. But this is also cool if you didn't want to go that way and you wanted pods. Yeah, and is the one downside thing of this. Right. right. You do end up with quite a lot of water everywhere. You have to put that in the sink. Oh, does it continue dripping? Then? Yeah, it drips a little bit. And... That's all the coffee you get. <laughs> although, really? although it is quite strong, so, so it's, if you wanted a full cup of coffee, you could. You'd have to do two pots. Add a bit more water to it, I suppose. Water it down a little bit. Yeah, but if you wanted a full. But any more coffee. than that, it's too weak for me. Yeah. But yeah, it's strong. It's it's like an, it's like a uh, an espresso. Espresso, yeah. It's yeah. kind of. Yeah, it is an espresso. But look at yeah. that, it works. And this is the thing, this is the winner. I mean, you do get a bit of residue. So I guess just make sure you've got it near to a sink. Ouch. Yeah, hot water comes out of this. That's it. And how has it been punctured? Yeah, it's punctured through the top. Oh right, maybe they want to see as yeah. well. There you go, so it punctures it, squirts water in the top, and the coffee comes out the bottom. Zero mess. Simple as that. Zero mess. So that's where this thing does win. No mess, no fuss. You do get a little bit of water. It does leave it a little bit moist. But, um, yeah, wipe the towel. And do you have to wash anything through once you've used it? Yeah, you can do. 
but then <laughs> that way inclined. I just wondered whether you have to kind of maintain you don't have it. To. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine you'd have to rinse it out, but yeah. nobody wants to do that first thing in the morning. I just want to have a coffee and drink it and go. Yeah. So That's there you go. So cool. If you're in the market for a coffee maker or you like these coffee pods, I mean, I'm still not convinced. I'm not a fan of them because I do like my proper coffee and I do or will continue to use this until I can find some of these that I really like. Yeah, because we were just I'm trying not, those. Yeah, we? I'm not a fan of these ones at the moment, but like I say, they are from Aldi. They do these little 10 packets, so you can, they're not expensive. No. We, we can buy some more and try them. So yeah, have a go. What do you think of the coffee? I don't know. Well, should we try it? Go on then. Should I, can I not have any milk? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't like my coffee black. Sorry. I know what it tastes like. I've had them. So. What mm. cream? Yes, cream. Oh, she likes the cream. I like the cream. Why have coffee with milk when you can have it with cream? Oh, it's a bit lumpy. <laughs> there you go. There Thank you, go. you. What do you think of that? Oh, it smells good. Nothing like fresh coffee. Well, fresh is it's out of a machine at the end of the day. But... Oh, wow, that's strong. Is it strong? Mm, it's strong for me, but I'm not yeah, a, so into I'd, strong coffee. That's about right for me. If I if I make it and then just top it up with a little bit more hot water. But it's perfect. Yeah. It's so perfect. I'd probably it's want got... it up to there yeah. with more, more cream. Do you want to try it? No, no, no. no, no right, I'll go for this. I think this yeah. is good. Oh, there you go. I will put a link in the description of this video to my Amazon storefront where you'll find these nifty little things. Yeah, K Flow. It's called a K Flow coffee brewer or coffee machine, I think. Yeah, I right. guess is the K short for coffee? K Flow, coffee flow. Oh, good. You're <laughs> really good. <laughs> coffee flow. Now I'll show you the box so you know what to look for. <laughs> K Flow electric portable coffee maker. Gets a thumbs up from me. Just got to find the right pods for it now. Yeah. If I can find the right pods for it, we'll be good. Anyway, I think I've waffled on enough. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.